What's good, y'all? It's your boy, the Huskamanian, back in the building with another fire video, man. Today, we got the tips and tricks for the Casper Specialist, man. And we had a special uh, request. Shouts out to my man, Dark. He commented on the channel. Can you make a video about Casper currently at 2,500 out of 8,000? But it's a tedious grind. Would love some tips. And you know your boy, the Huskamanian, going to serve. You know what I'm saying? Every time I'm going to step up to the plate to try to help out the community in any way possible. So before we get into this fire video, I'm going to need y'all to do me a huge favor and smash up that like button. That way we get this video out to the community to be able to help out as many people as possible. Much appreciated. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe because we always trying to drop tips. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Tutorials and updates and ways to get things done fast around here, man. But you know, I don't like to keep y'all waiting. So, without further ado, let's jump right into it. It's the Huskamanian. Yes, sir. It's the Huskamanian. Your favorite streamer, favorite streamer. It's the Huskamanian. So, the game mode that I recommend that you play on is Breakthrough. Breakthrough is going to give you the largest amount of enemies. That, uh, that will spawn so that you get the kills, I mean the scans, as much as possible. Don't bother with Conquest. Don't bother with Conquest 64. Don't do Breakthrough 64 because it's only 64 players. Do regular Breakthrough. It's going to give you way more players. Uh, I think it's 120 or something like that. That way you'll be able to get scans as soon as possible. All right, now let's get into the loadout. The loadout that I recommend is the K30 because... In my opinion, you're trying to get scans, so your survivability has to be high. Now, a lot of people will be using tactical rifles and sniper rifles. Now, just because he has the ghillie suit on doesn't mean that this is what you're going for. Now, our goal in this video is to get scans. It's not to be a sniper. It's not to pick people off at a distance. You have to survive the longest in order to get the maximized scans possible during each round now the only thing i recommend is that you run with an smg for this because you're only gonna really be coming in contact with people when they run up on you and uh casper has the ability to sense when when you're in your drone when nearby enemies are approaching so you want to get that kill fast to be able to hop back into your drone to be able to get more scans. That's why I recommend an SMG. Now, if somebody runs up on you and you got a sniper, then you got to switch to your MP28. Most likely going to be able to get it or you might not even be able to finish them off and they kill you and now you got to respawn. So that's why I recommend this setup exactly like this. Now, for your, uh, your gadget, I would recommend the insertion beacon. That way you have a good spot, you got where you need it to be, and then you put your box down to be able to respawn just in case they finish you off. Not only that, when you respawn, you know exactly where they are, and then you get that kill and then go right back to your scanning. Now, I also, for your throwable, I would recommend a smoke grenade so that when they do approach, or if it's multiple of them, you could pop the smoke grenade to be able to uh, flee the scene to get the easy kill on your opponents when they rushing you while you're in your drone all right now let's get into some gameplay now remember guys that casper is primarily a recon specialist he is not a running gun specialist he is not a defender you have to keep that in mind and you have to learn to play your role his job is to scout as many people and locate the enemy the entire battle you know what i'm saying um, in order to get this challenge, you have to stay humble. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be very tedious. The grind is definitely going to be real. You got to get 8,000 scans. So, you know what I'm saying? You got to be locked in and you got to be dedicated and you got to discipline yourself to be able to play this type of style. But keep in mind as well, Casper is the easiest out of all the specialists to get their, uh, their scans or their objective very completely to be able to get your epic one skin so also keep that in mind the other specialists are way more complicated than he is because you are guaranteed to get scans a, a, a large amount of scans each round 
every other specialist isn't guaranteed to get as many scans or, or whatever their special objective is, they're not able to get that guaranteed each round. Their numbers is gonna vary, but with Casper, you're gonna hit these high numbers each round. So you're gonna get this challenge done as soon as possible. Also for a quick tip, sometimes they won't let you spawn the drone while you're laying down. So what you gotta do is stand up first and then pull out your drone. And then once your drone is in the air, you go back to your character and then lay down and then go back to your drone. So that way you're in cover and they can't even see you. All right, so to wrap this video up, make sure when you spawn that you spawn in and find a remote location. Don't forget to drop your beacon so that if you die, that way you'll be able to come back immediately. Make sure that you're far away from the enemy battle the entire time. Do not gauge into battle only if the enemy is rushing you. That way you maximize your scans. Make sure that you locate exactly where the enemy is. If your drone gets out of um, area, as you can see the connection, it's kind of like a Wi-Fi cell phone. If it gets out of reach, make sure that you move closer to the enemy in, uh, in the same remote location so that they can't see you and just maximize all the scans as possible. And if you guys follow these tips and tricks, you guys will have your 8,000 scans as soon as possible. I mean, if you really work hard at it, you should be able to have it within a week, to be quite honest. But that's all I got for you guys today, man. Let me know if you guys enjoyed the content. Uh, don't forget to leave a comment down below and let me know your thoughts and your process. Also, where are you at with your scans? Did you make it? Did you already complete it? And if so, was it easy for you? Uh, make sure you check out some of the other content that we got here on the channel, man. I'm out of here, though. Peace.